Fala is really the kind of leading figure for hard edge painting from Germany. He kind of reacted to the dominance of abstract expressionism in Germany at the time and created what was based off of Art Formel and worked into, into hard edge painting. You see in, these, in the early works, the paper works, a lot of Willy Baumeister still. Um, and, and then once he moves into the, into the early 60s, probably around 62, he started really creating these block-like figures. Um, and what you notice is a lot of the time in, in the earlier works, you have shapes set next to each other in uniform colors and not usually in any way invading each other's spaces. He was in touch with, with, with the hard edge painters of that time. His first show in, in New York at Fischbach Gallery was, was curated by Barnett Newman, um, who was hanging the, hanging the works and he really curated the show. And so there was this kind of discourse between the various artists. And I think it's interesting because Fahler comes from Emmetsheim in the south of Germany, near Stuttgart. And it's a very rural, very small place in the south of Germany. And it's incredible, I find, to see someone who came with work of this strength, of this, which was so new and so, uh, so vibrant, and was really, at the same time, uh, and the same degree of, of, of change as what you had in America, the artists coming out of New York in this huge metropolitan city with a lot of kind of art worlds, the art world center, so to speak, for someone to come from, from such a rural area and develop the same kind of uh, discourse and concept, I found very interesting. I think there is, of course, an element of action painting in his work, you know, he kind of sits between color fields and hard edge and abstract uh, and, and action painting. And actually, the more you progress through his career, it starts actually more in the, in the mid 70s and towards the 80s, where you have these huge sweeping gestural forms. Um, it's almost an even oversimplification of the block forms that he has near the beginning of his career. In his studio, all the, he, would lay, he would lay the canvases down onto the floor. And although he seems to achieve these perfect lines on very close inspection, you see that it's all freehand. So he did not in any way kind of... Uh, you, you see artists like Carmen Herrera using tape to perfect the completely straight lines. With, even with, with those where the, you see a lot of curved lines in Fowler's work, uh, it's, it's all freehand. When he was painting, he was very close to the canvas and there was so, so much focus and concentration when he was doing it. Uh, over the years, you noticed that his eyes were, were slightly crossed. The right one was completely straight and the left verged towards the other. And I think this is a you know, real dedication to getting the work perfectly, perfectly right. Father is the, the kind of leading hard edge painter from Germany, as we mentioned. He um, really helped develop the discourse in this period and really was a, a large part of the German art world at this time and was exhibited internationally and is included in the public, major public collections like the MoMA in New York, uh, the Neue Nationalgalerie in Berlin, so he's very well represented in very established public and private uh, collections.